Hi, KK lovers. How are you all doing? You're welcome to another interesting tutorial. Today we are going to be making this beautiful kimono crop top. The top is cropped in front but longer at the back. So for the measurements, I'm going to use my waist measurement. And uh, for the neck round, I'm using three inches on the shoulder and three and a half on my front neckline. But I'm going to add a small V opening, a V opening in front. So the next thing I'll do is to put down my shoulder measurement and extend it with my sleeve length measurement. I'm going to slope my shoulder line by one and a half inches. And I'll connect it with a straight line, as you can see me doing. All right. So I'm going to go right ahead and input my shoulder to bust measurement. That's my shoulder to bust measurement. And for my armhole measurement, I'll make it a bit big. So I'm placing it on my bust line because we are going to add some gathers. So I'm going to use my bust measurement divided by four plus three inches. Bust measurement divided by four plus three inches for my bust. And I'm going to use the same measurement for my waist. So I'm just going to draw a straight line down to the waist. And after that, I'll carve my armhole curve. For the waistline, we are using the same boss measurement since we are going to add some gathers at the waistline. You see that small curve I've added at the side is going to help us when we are going to fit the waistband. So I'll quickly cut it out. Remember, it's a kimono, so we are cutting it together with the sleeves. So I fold my material again into two, and I place the front part so as to cut the back part. So for my back neckline, I'm going to go down by two inches, depending on the desired neckline you want. You can use one and a half. Can use two inches. If you are just joining us, KK lovers, please like this video, like this video, so that YouTube can recommend it to others to also come and watch. So the next thing I'm going to do is to measure the length of the back part. Remember, I said the back is longer than the front part so you can use your desired measurement wherever you want the back to end measure it and then we are going to slope it from the front to go round we make it a bit rounded to bring out that beautiful shape so after that, I'm going to quickly cut it out. And that is it for the back part. So this is the front and that is the back. So the next thing I will do is to cut the facing. We are going to use small facing to turn 
the neckline for both front and back. So I'll fold a small piece of fabric into two. I place my front neckline there and I'll cut it out. So this is the facing for the front part. And we are also going to cut another small facing for the back neckline. Please like this video if you have not yet liked. Please give me a thumbs up so that YouTube can recommend this video for others to watch. So I will place the front part on the fabric, rather the back part, and also cut its own facing. So that is the facing for the back part. So what is left now to cut is the band that will also connect to the ropes that we are going to tie behind. So you can cut any desired length for your band and ropes extension to be tied behind. For me, I used a band of three inches. So you can place your fabric on fold and measure three and a half or if it's on open you measure seven inches so as to use half inch on each side to attach the band on the dress so I'm using seven inches for the width and for the length you can cut any desired length but make sure that it is long enough that you can tie it behind So I'm quickly going to cut it out. Sorry for the blurry images. My camera is acting up. Okay. After the band, we are going to cut another smaller band for the sleeves. Remember I said we are going to gather the sleeves a bit and finish it up with a small band. So I'll go ahead and cut the band. You can cut it as big as you want. But make sure you're using your sleeve round because the band is a bit fitted. So I'm drawing the two bands at a time and I'm placing in my sleeve round measurement so I'll quickly cut it out and I'll also separate it into two to give me the band for the two sleeves so this is how I'm going to fold it and fold it again so that is how it's going to be so we are done with the cutting now we are going to go over to the sewing part of this beautiful kimono blouse So I've already gone ahead and sewn my front facing and back facing. So we are going to go ahead to turn it over and iron. We'll turn it over and 
iron it neatly. You see the small V at the front neckline it's looking beautiful. You can also design it with some beads to cross over the opening. This is the back neckline as well. I've also sewn the facing and I've notched it very well. So we are going to flip it over, iron it, and I've also used hemming gum to gum it so it looks very neat. So we have our front part looking neat. And this is also the back part. I've already gone ahead and ironed it and ironed the neck with my hemming gum. So the next thing I'm going to do is to join the shoulder line. But before that, I'm going to gather this front waistline. I think I'll do that first. I'll gather the front leg, the front waistline using the long stitches so that I can easily pull it. Now I'm going to draw the gathers. I've sewn two lines so that it will be easy to draw it. So I'll go ahead and draw it carefully so the thread does not cut. My dear KK lovers, please like this video. Like this video if you have not yet done so. Please give me a thumbs up. So I'm carefully pulling the gathers to attain my desired waist measurement. So I'm going to measure it to see if it gives me my waist measurement. Okay. After you are satisfied with the measurements, we are going to notch the center of the band on both sides. So that's the center of the band. After that, I will measure where the waistline will end. That's the front waist. And I'll also place a mark. So we are going to fold this band into two and start sewing from where the waist will end right to the end of the band. So we are leaving just the center of the band open. So I'll go ahead and sew it and give it a good press. So this is the band. If you look at it, you see that I've sewn it and allowed the center open. And that is where our waistline is going to fit in. So I'll place it and I'll take it to my machine and sew it neatly. So I've already sewn it. This is how it's going to look. You see the band is quite long and it can comfortably go around the waist and tie behind. So the next thing is to join the shoulders and the side. So I've joined the shoulders. I've also gathered the sleeves. As you can see, I've gathered the sleeves. And the next thing I'll do is to sew the sleeves, the band for the sleeves. 
I'll sew one side and then I'll show you how we are going to turn it. So I've folded into two and sewn and this is how we are going to turn it. You can see how I'm doing it. You fold it into two and flip it over such that the allowance remains inside. So that is how the band will look like. Let's do the second one as well. You open the allowance and you fold it at the middle and flip it over. So I've gone ahead and ironed it. I'm going to weave the edges to prevent it from fraying. So after weaving, our band is ready to be fixed on the sleeves. But I'll first join the edges, sorry, the sides before I fit in my sleeves. So I'll take it to the machine and join the sides. Then I'll show you how to fix the sleeves. So we are going to send the sleeves inside, to send the band inside the sleeves. You can use your sewing pins to pin it all around and then stitch it. So this is how the outcome looks. So I've also joined the sides join the band for the sleeves and the next thing is to give this top a good press. Iron it very neatly. You can see the back part is longer than the front part and for the back part I've gone ahead and hem the lower part. That's the lower part that has rounded edges. So I'm giving this dress a good press. And after that, we are going to do the fitting. I'm sure you're all waiting to see how it's going to look. So I will take you now to the fitting session. But before that, please kindly like this video is very important like the video give me a thumbs up and comment on the comment section Tada! this is how it looks you can see it's looking so beautiful see the back part you can see the front